Hello, my friends. It's me. I know, right? You came to my channel and I'm here? What a surprise. I'm really good at this whole YouTube thing. I'm not very good at it. Anyway, this is a nice guy story, kind of? More like a question or an advice thing. So, yeah. Let's get into this and I'll, uh, I'll let them explain it. This is from Reddit user Doctor Strange 121. He's the 121st Doctor Strange, which, considering the multiverse, that's probably accurate. That could be 121. We don't know. I don't know how many universes there are. And neither do you. So don't act like you do. This is. Coming to terms that I somehow acted as a nice guy in front of the girl of my dreams that I really wanted to date. What steps should I take in the future to avoid this? Okay. So there's a link to a longer story, but I'm going to let them summarize. Short story. I liked this girl in high school. She was the prettiest of all, and I was crazy for her. After school, we started talking online. This went on for about ten years. After that, we met. She friend-zoned me. And this made me really upset because I really wanted to date her current situation, I blocked her from my life without saying anything. Now, I've been on Reddit, and I've heard the term nice guys, and I researched it, and damn, I share every fucking trait that a nice guy would have. I analyzed myself with her. I was always available for her, would try to always help her. She didn't want to talk to me, and I would get mad. I would always be nice to her. I thought doing these things would make me special in her eyes, and we might hit it off one day. The day we met, I did everything that people do in movies to impress the girl. I was wrong, but these movies and love songs made me think that this girl is straight from heaven and she's the one I need. Maybe it was from the hope that one day she'll be mine, but I don't get how different I should have been with her from the start. How I should have spoken to her, what I should have done to make her believe that I might be a romantic partner. I just want to improve myself and I don't want to make these mistakes again. Any help would be appreciated. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to try and give you what wonderful help your friend Moonhorse can. Now, granted, the only kind of professional I am is a professional moron, so grain of salt. Just make sure you have that. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that at this stage, when it comes to this girl, you may kind of not have to... Uh, pursue this. If you've been around her for basically a fucking decade and you haven't spoken up about how you feel, yeah, it, it's definitely going to be weird at that point. See, when it comes to talking to somebody about romantic issues or how you feel about them or anything like that, it's the kind of thing that you do need to address. And it's the kind of thing that needs to be addressed, you know, maturely. And in a way that actually has both sides having a full conversation about these things. Pining from afar seems like a thing, you know, in like movies and music and, you know, shows and shit like that. And it makes for good drama. But reality isn't drama. And that's not really the best of things. It's pretty fucking weird. So, honestly, if you would have just come out and said something to her that probably would have worked out better. But there's also the chance, again, that she could not feel the same way. And you also have to be able to accept rejection. That's the other part of the whole nice guy, neckbeard thing. Though you didn't really say neckbeard, mostly nice guy. So let's stick with mostly nice guy stuff. Um, so yeah, that's the big thing is you have to kind of address the fact that you may try and still fail. And that kind of, I don't know, worldview is a thing that we on this channel uh, tend to talk about pretty good bit, actually. Um, you can still do your best and not, you know, get what you want. That's life. Life is sometimes just trying your hardest and still not doing it. And that's okay. It's okay to not get certain things. It's okay to not find this one perfect person because I'm going to be honest with you the way you started talking about this and the way this has kind of been explained and I skimmed through the other story as well 
Um, you started out this entire thing really young and had it kind of planned out as this is what, you know, the relationship is going to be starting from high school. I, as someone who's, you know, currently engaged, look back on who I dated my high school days, which wasn't many people, and in my 20s, and I'm really glad that that didn't work out now. Because then I wouldn't be with the person I am with, and I care about them very, very much, and I love them very much. Sometimes, you have to fail in order to learn. It's a big thing. You basically have started that process. You realized that in this situation, you fucked up. Then you realized in a lot of your behavior, after looking up the whole nice guy thing, that you really fucked up. But, you are taking steps to make yourself better. And that is the first step of a positive mentality. That is the first step of doing the right thing. Honestly, I'm proud of you. You may have fucked up and some bad shit happened, but the fact that you're realizing that you need to work on that is a good thing. The fact that you're, you know, putting effort into doing the thing properly. And the specific point about blocking her from your life without saying anything, that may upset her. And it may upset some people, you know, if that's like a thing, friends or whatever... But honestly, at this stage, you're not doing it for her. You're doing it for you. You realize that you do have an obsession with this girl. That you really want things to be a certain way. So much so that you believe this whole friend zone thing. And realize that continued exposure to her is just toxic. Not that she's toxic, but that it does things to you. And for her benefit, as well as your own benefit, you decided to distance yourself. That is also an incredibly mature decision. That is understanding that you're just not really in a position to be the friend or anything to her that you were, or whatever you're supposed to be. She clearly wants you to be just a friend, and you're not ready to get into that headspace. Because you have all these feelings. So it's actually honestly pretty good that you've decided to take it upon yourself to be like, I am not in a position to talk to you properly or treat you properly. So I need to distance myself and work on myself. Granted, maybe you should have said that, but there's also no telling how well that would have gone over. So I understand your reasoning behind this. I understand or it's just like, I can't. I know that I'm fucking up, and I know what's causing it, and I've got to take care of myself before I can actually come back and be a good person. So, honestly, OP, I commend you. That's actually... You're, you're doing good. You're starting. Just keep on that, keep up that momentum, and keep working on it, and you'll be able to get over this. You'll be able to get better, and who knows? Maybe eventually you'll be able to get back in touch with this person and be like, you know, we are just friends, and that's okay. Friends are cool. Friendship is, well, I was going to say magic, but, you know, there's a fucking show that took that from me. They took that from me. That was my slogan. I'm kidding. I just made that up right now. But <laughs> either way, I, I do think that you're actually trying to do the right thing. And it's a first step. A first step is very important. So, with all that being said, uh, those of you who are watching this, I hope my insane weird advice helps you in some way and if it doesn't that's fine i am just kind of an idiot on the internet so you know you can ignore me it's it's cool but what you should do if you're going to ignore me is uh pay the ignoring tax which is you should donate to my ko-fi that is a really uh shameless way to plug my ko-fi uh <laughs> which is uh a link in the description of every video <laughs> i know i'm really good at this uh also i have a merch store which is just possibly the most awesome merch store did you ever think you could get a tank top with a like a fucking sub on fire on it i i know where you can get one do you want a moon horse bath mat you can get that too yep i sell those i don't know why i sell those but i do they're there also youtube whatever uh press the things you know the one that's. and uh if you would like to come hang out with me and my fantastic fiance uh every weekend we do live streams, playing games and whatnot. And on Mondays, 
I record these videos on a uh, live stream. You can come see them live. They don't have all the special effects, and I uh, screw up a lot and have to reread lines. It's kind of like watching this on YouTube, only not, you know, as polished. And sometimes I talk to the chat. Hi, chat. You can't see them. You're watching this on a video. Stop looking for them. It's rude. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.